reminiscing on the message about how young people should pray and long for a future spouse. So I did what the pastor said and I began praying. He didn't answer my prayers right away. A couple years later, he brought me you. After time, he showed me how special you are and how perfect of a match you are for me and that you were the answer to my prayers. Wow, look at us six and a half years later. I could have never asked the Lord for anyone better than you to stand by my side for the rest of my life. I love you more today than yesterday, and I love you more and more each day as long as we both shall live. You are the answer to my prayers. I know I don't say it enough and I probably should say it more, but you alone are my prayer. I continuously pray for you, for your health and well-being, for your goals and dreams, and I cover them all with prayer just about every morning when I'm in the shower. Even though you said you'd never date me if I was a cheerleader, I will always root you on and be your biggest fan. I promise to support you and love you through any trial we may face. I'll love you even when you get gray hair and start looking like Shannon. <laughs> I'll love you when you're old and you're cranky, even though sometimes you are like that anyways. I promise to be a praying wife and I vow to read my Bible daily and spend time with the Lord so that he can encourage me, so that I can then encourage you. I prayed for you before I even met you. And although I've waited six and a half years for you, you were so worth it. God has orchestrated everything in our life for this specific moment. I'm so excited to build a life with you, have children with you, and laugh with you forever. I'm so thankful for you and I vow to try and be the best wife to you because you deserve the best. Through sickness and health, through richer for poor, through good times and bad, I promise to love you and I promise to always be faithful to you. I love you so much. Here are my vows to you. By definition, a vow is a promise and a covenant before God over a specific thing. First and foremost, I promise to love you no matter what situation or circumstance we're in. I promise to love you just about as much as Jesus loves you. Secondly, I promise to care for you. No matter what your wants and needs are, I promise to be a provider for you and our future family. Third, I promise to be your rock. No matter how hard, hard marriage gets or our lives get, I promise to hold steadfast to the Lord, never wavering from any trial or conflict. Fourth, I promise to protect you. No matter what or who tries to harm you, I promise to be your shelter and the place you can turn to for protection if even if it means death. Fifth, I promise to be your biggest fan. Whatever you want to do in life, decisions you will make, I promise to cheer and spur you on. Sixth, I promise to pray for you. Every day since you have been in my life, I've prayed for you, and I promise I'll continue to do this. I not only will pray for you, but I'll, but I'll also pray with you. Seventh, I promise to be faithful to you, choosing you each and every day for the rest of our lives. And last but not least, I promise to lead you. I will do my best to lead you in the way of the Lord and take you down a path leading you to joy, happiness, and love. Jacqueline, I'm in awe of how God has blessed us this far, and I can't imagine how much better it's going to get after this. I love you. Forever like that.
And the tune can keep changing The love I'll keep arranging And this is a song that will sing I'll hold you I'll sing I want to love you Forever I do I want to spend all of my days My forever When the rain comes I'll be your shelter When the wind blows Love will be together When the storms they rise Well I'll be right there by your side We'll carry your burden Be the wind that shall by I'm gonna spend my forever Forever like that I just wanna drink you down. Oh, no. 